Why do you think people are afraid to go after their dreams? Are they afraid of failure? Self-doubt? It was a really trying time for me, and I don't really know how I got out of it. And basically what it is, it's just perseverance and having a support system, having people and knowing that they're going through the same thing that you are. They're afraid if they call out a dream and attempt to achieve it that they won't, they might fall short. Like talking about directing a film is I actually have to find somebody that can edit, that can put sound in, you know? I don't know how to do that stuff, but I bet you do. I bet you do. Don't be afraid of that dream. Don't let that dream knock you down. You knock that dream down. People, people do get in their own head, you know? Um, why that is, maybe because they, they look, look out instead of looking in, right? A lot of people look out and say, okay, well, he's doing that, she's doing that. I should be doing that, this, that, or the other, instead of saying, what am I here to do? The biggest failure is not trying. Oh, I have self-doubt all the time. That's like my middle name, self-doubt. <laughs> I'm always doubting myself. But if you see that dream off in the distance, like a ship coasting on the horizon, you better get after that thing. Because if you don't, someone else will. My passion would probably be fashion, but that's so cliche to say that my passion is fashion. But really, my real passion is inspiring people, and I wanted to find out a way to marry the two. And that's why I thought blogging was what I was meant to do. I'm excited to see what my photography will bring to my blog and just to the creative side of me as a person. Being in the military, I used to work canine. Uh, dogs, drug dogs, bomb dogs, and patrol dogs. We used to train them and work them. When I retired, uh, my wife at the time, she also retired, hence the acting. You can all be seated. Defense counsel at the arraignment, your client had a plea of not guilty. Is that still his plea? You know, when you think about it in life, we're all actors. Sometimes you're just not put in front of the screen. I like creating worlds because it's sort of an extension of the world that we live in now. The first things you make, you're not gonna like. Odds are you'll probably hate it and wanna give up a number of times, but as long as you are someone who is able to work past that and keep making things until eventually one day you'll have something that you're proud of, that's all it really takes. A lot of my perspective has been given to me believe it or not, through tough workouts. I think that going through, like I said, the emotional and uh, you know the social troubles that I went through growing up a little bit in, in, in my particular environment, I didn't like the way I felt and I felt like I don't want others to feel like that way. I was knocked down a lot and I didn't, I didn't like feeling knocked down. They would tell me that they don't want me to pigeonhole myself into something very specific, especially considering how the industry, the games industry is so saturated, it's kind of overcrowded, everyone and their mother wants to be a game designer. You know, right now I'm not a struggling actor, I act because I enjoy it. If I had to do it for a living, I probably wouldn't make a lot of money. But who knows, in my next lifetime, maybe I will be that actor. Who knows, you know? I figured, you know, what the heck, try it. Some people will like it and some won't. But at least you know you accomplished something that you wanted to do and not something that you know you're told what to do. But feeling pressure to go in a different way, I think that's where I... Uh, what do you mean pressure? Uh, you know, just working in corporate America, working in finance. What's your problem? That's not what I wanted to do. You know, I, I believe you can't change the world, you can't help others, you can't help yourself um, by doing something you don't want to do. But I think that you shouldn't judge people until you hear people's stories because you don't know what's going on in everybody's life. Oh, rejection. God, how many auditions have I been to? The only moment that really ever exists is right now, you know? So holding on to anything from before or having any expectation for tomorrow is kind of silly. Life comes around once. So if you're going to enjoy your life, do what you want to do. Any second spent enjoying yourself, whether it's through video games or just about anything you could do, that's valuable because life is about enjoyment. There's nothing else we really have. Do it, because that's the, that's the hardest part, is to just start. The easy stuff comes after. That's the fun part when you're learning and experimenting. Go do it, you know? Just go, go do it, take action. 
Yeah, everything will fall in place. You will learn from your, you're, you're gonna make mistakes and you'll, you'll, you'll learn from them. Um, but the, the first step to getting momentum, the first step in becoming the person that you wanna be, creating what you wanna create is actually trying to create it, so. Very cool, you wanna take us through a little workout maybe? Hell yeah, of course, let's do it. Okay.